I'm at a fancy house in Sugarland today. I got some really cool finds. Let's go check it out. All right, so for our first find, we have two water heaters in the garage. And part of these water heaters, uh, you always need protection for the gas equipment. With this uh, water line, <laughs> for this gas line, the gas line hangs over the barrier a little bit and it, it can be easily be ran into, so it could cause some damage in the future. So we're gonna recommend for some protection for the gas lines. And then also, this one's kind of funny, but they discharge the TMP in the pan inside the garage area. This should be six inches from the on the outside. Older homes, I probably wouldn't worry about it too much, but since this is a brand new house, this should definitely go outside, be within six inches of the ground. All right, let's go check out the next one. For this next find, let's talk about the purlin supports. Right here, this is a purlin support, and it's supporting a tile roof. These purlin supports actually need to be resting on a load-bearing wall. Right now it's resting on a handrail and it's traveling over 45 degrees. Purlin supports are not allowed to travel over 45 degrees, but they are allowed to travel back to a 90. So, but it, at the 90 degrees, it can't go past the 90. So it needs to be in between 90 and 45 to properly support the roof structure's weight and rest on a load-bearing wall. Right here, this one's not installed properly, so I'm gonna recommend for it to be further evaluated and corrected. I understand why they did it, or tried to under, uh, correct it, is the client needed easy access to their equipment, but they might just need to look, duck a little bit on this one. Let's go check out the next item. For the final finds on this brand new property is they accidentally forgot to do the final coat for the stucco in between the service meter and the panel box, the main disconnect here. Um, this can actually lead to the cracking of the stucco in this area and then also possible water penetration in the future. So we're going to recommend for a repair in between here. And then the final one was actually with the ground rod. The ground rod wasn't ever finished being installed and it wasn't tightened down. So this, can, uh, this house right now isn't finished being ground in. So those are some really great finds with Chris with A Action. If you have any home inspection questions, please give me a call and please like and share the videos. I'm <laughs> sorry.